Join us in this video as we take a look at how a commercial farm grows cut flower chrysanthemums. The flowers are grown in a peat mixture. The peat is stored under cover and is kept constantly wet. Regular sprains are very important because peat can't be re-wet once it dries out. Automated machines are filled with the peat where it gets pressed into cubes with pre-made holes in the center. These blocks have a texture very similar to cooked brownies. The cubes are loaded into trays before moving on to the next step. Chrysanthemum cuttings are kept in cold rooms before they are stuck in the blocks. These cuttings are often grown in tissue culture and imported for cut flower purposes. The bunches of cuttings are dipped into powdered rooting hormone and then stuck into pre-made holes. By having these holes pre-punched, the damage caused to the stem during the sticking process will be reduced. The trays full of cuttings are wrapped in a thick plastic covering and kept in a greenhouse. This helps create a humid micro-environment around the cuttings, preventing wilting and promoting root growth. In just a couple of days, the first roots start to appear. These cuttings are a bit older. You can see how the roots have continued to grow and new sets of leaves have developed. At this stage, the plastic covering is removed to help the cuttings acclimatize before they are transferred to the growing greenhouse. In the growing greenhouse, the cuttings and their peat blocks are simply laid on top of the floor. The nutrient and water supply is so perfectly controlled, the cuttings do not need to be planted in the soil at all. As they grow, wired support is continually moved up along the stem to prevent bending. See the rows of fans along the back wall? This is how the flowers are kept cool in the heat of the summer. They suck the cool air created at the opposite end of the greenhouse, keeping the plants free from heat-induced stress. This wet wall is made of honeycombed cellulose. Water drips down the wall, cooling the surrounding air which can then be drawn across the flowers by fans on the opposite side. Overhead there are lights and shade cloth which can be used to extend or shorten day lengths to elicit an appropriate response in the plants. The yellow tags are sticky traps used to limit pest infestations. After a couple of months, the flowers have budded up and are almost ready for cutting. Once the flowers are harvested, they can be prepared for the markets. First, the stems are evenly trimmed. This flower farm adds value to their flowers by dyeing them. The flower bunches are placed into water containing a food safe dye. You can see how the flowers at the end of the line are more saturated as they stay in the dye longer. The dye can create some of the most beautiful hues in the chrysanthemum flowers. Flowers with bigger heads are harvested while the buds are still closed. The heads are then wrapped in a protective covering to ensure maximum flower quality. Lastly, the flowers are wrapped in bouquets for the local shopping markets. It is essential these rooms be as cold as possible to maximize flower quality. And that's how a commercial farm grows proudly South African flowers. 
the next time you see chrysanthemum flowers in the local stores, they may well have been grown at this farm. If you liked what you saw in this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss another one. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.